my name is Tord Boontje. I'm the professor of design products, which is the program at the Royal College of Art in London. We're here at the final show. One of the clear trends that we see emerging this year is there's a very strong desire amongst the graduates to really engage with society. Hilde Helmström is investigating the mythical objects. She became very interested in the whole disaster that happened in Fukushima and then she decided to go to Fukushima and spent almost a week living with Mr. Matsumura, who's a farmer who decided to stay there. But he's the last person living in the exclusion zone near the nuclear reactor. On Mr. Matsumura's farm, she collected soil from eight centimeters deep underground. The soil is slightly radioactive, and she brought this soil back to London, where she made these vessels. Ima's work is an investigation of the body, um, and by creating these transparent suits that you can actually wear, you almost become like a different character. She also worked together with dancers, who created a performance that she documented in film. Pochi developed a new type of skateboard that allows you to go down the stairs. It's something very dangerous, not even very good skateboarders can do this. Pochi actually only started skateboarding one year ago. But I think it's fantastic by creating something new, like a tool, that allows you to do something that you could only dream about before. Kim's work lives between installation and furniture design. He's been investigating optical illusions, kind of using graphic patterns and two-way mirrored glass. The mirror, which is here in the center, reflects the pink dot pattern. But at the same time, you look through the mirror and you see the yellow dots on the other side. And once we start combining the yellow, the pink patterns together, this, and all the rest disappears because of the black, the patterns start to merge. So you start seeing reflection, but also transparency 